Hello, in this video I will show you how to execute a stored procedure in SQL Server. So just a simple execution not involving any programming language interactions such as VSC Sharp or something like that. Uh, uh, that we all know probably how to do. If you don't know, you can take a look at my SQL Server course and you'll learn all that. But uh, this is something that people find it uh, kind of difficult to actually find. So I will show you how to execute an existing stored procedure simply in the SQL Server from the SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. So let's take a look. Now, right here we have a simple stored procedure. Insert record into table one. Okay, and the table one is uh, quite a straightforward one, just an example table. We have ID, unique identifier, we have val1, val2, val3, and all of them are different types. We have nrchar, we have bet, and we have int. Three different types. Now, this is the sort procedure. It simply takes in, see, it takes in three values or three parameters, you might call them. Uh, many different words you can use probably for these but it takes in three of those values and it inserts uh, and it generates the new id this is how we generate unique identifier of a new id quite a useful thing okay so this is what we have now i want to execute this so the way i will do that is i will create new query for this database now then i have a new query opened created for this database and right here we have exec okay and the name of the procedure okay exec the name of the procedure and this would work if it had no parameters if you didn't have to pass anything through but to pass something through you need to do it like this val1 okay equals some piece of text let's say test why not Okay, and then we need to separate that. And then the second value, val2 equals to say one, which is true if it was a Boolean, right? And then we have the final one, val3 equals, let's say, to 100, 100, like that. Okay, so this should work. And now I'm gonna run it. You can either click F5 or you can do execute like that. And as you can see, one row was affected. Now, if I were to take a look at the database, you'll see that all worked like that. See, we have the record. We have the record. That's all great and good. But again, you start with exec. This is our keyword for this arrangement. Exec, execute in other words, right? Stands for that. And we have the name of the procedure, which you unfortunately usually have to copy and paste because otherwise you need to relaunch it, refresh uh, everything to, to actually get it all suggested. Uh, and usually it gives you quite a few suggestions, but unfortunately it doesn't work all the time. Now, after that, we have the parameter like that. Okay, you want the parameter, the at sign. It must have the add sign in front, otherwise it will not work, it will fail. And then you do equals and then your value. And then separate that and then the second one with the little sign right like that. We have our two equals one and now three equals hundred. So this is how you insert everything. Now feel free to take a look at my SQL Server course. You will learn a lot of things about executing things, uh, uh, basic queries and then also some security arrangements um, how to establish everything how to get everything going and how to uh, perhaps establish some security procedures for your SQL Server also take a look at some other courses on the Confucian Solution Learning Platform subscribe to the channel and support the channel on Patreon